Okay, so we're gonna um, start for today. So uh, today's lesson is gonna be about um, about uh, NumPy. We're gonna start learning about NumPy. So let me just open up my shell. Uh, okay, so uh, can you guys read this? That's good enough. Okay, so um, first, before we do that, we're going to learn about uh, importing. So uh, there's a bunch of code out there. Uh, so you don't have to write every single piece of code by yourself because uh, that would just uh, be a huge waste of time and it would take too much time since there's already all the code out there. So uh, what I'm going to show you right now is how you can uh, use other people's code in, uh, in your code. So the way that we do that is using this keyword import. So um, with the import keyword, so I'm gonna, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use the random library. So uh, so say I say import random, right? So um, this is basically this random is a built-in library which allows you to uh, do things like generate random numbers, select random items out of a list uh, and stuff. So. Uh, I imported the random library, which means that I now have access to a bunch of functions. If I want to see all the functions and attributes I have access to, I can uh, do a dir command. So you can see I have access to all of these different commands. So um, now what I can do is I can say, uh, like if I want to call a random number, right? So I can say random dot random, or sorry, dot uniform, right? Uh, so let's just say 0 to 1, right? Then I would just say random dot uniform 0 to 1, right? So this will uh, uniformly generate um, random numbers between 0 and 1, right? Uh, if I want an uh, integer, right? So then I, uh, I would use a rand int function. So random dot rand int. Uh, and I could say from, say, like 0 to 10, right? So that will generate some number between 0 and 10 inclusive. Um, and it's an integer. Um, so that's um, how you, that's a, a basic import, right? So you just did import random like this. But uh, sometimes you might also want to just uh, import a particular function. Then it's inefficient to import all of those functions if you just need access to one, right? Let's just say we only wanted the, that, um, we only wanted to import that uh, that randint function, right? So then I can just say import random dot randint, right? Uh, oh, sorry, no, no, that's just for classes, sorry, not functions, but sorry. So for that, you would say from random import randint, right? So from this module, we want to import this function. So you just say enter, and now I can remember before I said random dot rand uh, randint. This time, now I can just say. Uh, rand int and I can say again from let's just say 1 to 100 right so uh, that will keep on ran generating random integers from 1 to 100 but now I no longer have to type that right okay so from random import rand int uh, but let's just say okay I only want to import that one function right uh, this rand int function but let's just say for some reason I'm lazy or that uh, this is a different function and it's like a really long function, right? Um, then what are we going to do? Then uh, we don't want to type out the whole thing, right? That would be too much to type out. So we could say random as, I mean, this is short, so I'll just say, I don't know, rent for random integer, okay? So uh, I can, so what this does is it imports, so from the, the module random, it's going to import the function rand int. And it's gonna import that under the name rint, okay, for random integer. So now I can just say rint uh, zero to one hundred again, right? And that will do the same thing, right? So uh, that's that's just how you import stuff. So okay, now let's actually get to NumPy, right? So uh, to you guys are for, you guys probably won't have NumPy installed by default. So what you need to do is you need to go into your shell. Type in pip install 
uh, NumPy, right? So you type this in, hit enter. Uh, in my case, I already have it installed, so I don't really need to worry about it. But um, th uh, that's in your command line. Uh, if you're working in a Jupyter notebook, you can type an exclamation mark and just type in pip install numpy, uh, and you can execute that shell. Uh, that sorry, that cell, and then uh, it'll install numpy for you. Um, so yeah, you can. That's how you can install it. Okay, so now that we have numpy installed, right? So now we're gonna actually get to using numpy. So uh, to use NumPy, typically what people do is, so you can obviously you can just hit import NumPy, but um, typically what people do is they uh, import it as NP because you're going to use this a lot and so it's kind of tedious to type out NumPy every single time so NP is just faster. So um, that's just typically whenever you look at somebody else's code you'll typically see that they just import it as NP. Okay, so now that we have NumPy imported at the top. We don't have to worry about it. It's it's there, so we can use it. Okay, so now we're just going to create a list called normal list, right? This is just like the data types we did on the first lesson, right? So I'll just have numbers from one through five, right? Okay, so now that we have this, uh, so in the tutorial it says uh, fancy list, right? So this is a basically a NumPy list, right, or a matrix, you could say. Uh, it's also called uh, ND array. That's the type of it. So we'll just say NP dot array, and in the argument we'll call normal list. So what this does is it's gonna take so from the NumPy module, it's gonna run the array function on the list normal list, right? Um, so what this means it's is it's gonna form a matrix out of this list. So we'll see that in a second. So it, here we go, I assigned it, right? So fancy list, if I go ahead and just, um, you can see that it says uh, array, right? So this is no longer a list, this is actually an array, right? Um, so now this has, we can do um, a bunch of different things with this, right? Uh, so just real quickly again, uh, real quick again, though this is, uh, like I said, it's supposed to be a matrix, right? So uh, we can also go ahead and take a, instead of a, uh, regular list, we can also go ahead and take a, a, a two-dimensional list, or you could do uh, however many dimensions you want. Um, it's just that, you know, um, I don't really want to type out too much, so, okay. Uh, okay, so I'll just add seven, eight, nine. Okay, there we go. So again, we can run the same thing. Right, and if we look at this list again, you can see that it prints out like a um, like a matrix, basically, right? Uh, you can see it's a three by three matrix, right? Okay. So, uh, like like I just showed, it's pretty tedious to try and type out um, to try and type out the uh, thing all all on your own. So NumPy uh, thankfully has some methods or some functions to um, do this stuff for us. So there's NP dot a range. So again, this is calling the NumPy module with NP, and it's running the a range function from the NumPy module. Okay. So what we do here is we put in two arguments, right? So uh, this is going to be from this is a starting to the end exclusive, right? So the starting point is inclusive. This ending point is exclusive. So you can see right here starts from zero and goes to nine, right? So um, this just creates an array of uh, integers going from here, kind of like the range function, right? If you were to uh, use a range function, uh, which is why it's called a range, but uh, it just makes it easier. Okay, you can also add a step to that, right? So just, again, it's, it's exactly like the range function. So if you do zero to 11, with a step of two, that'll do all the even integers from zero to 10, right? So uh, then, so sometimes you might want a completely blank array. So then you can just do a, uh, you can call np.zeros. So I could have one with a length of three, right? Uh, and then also you can like um, put in a tuple right here and you can specify the dimension. So like I could have a five by five um, array and you can see that it, it makes a five by five matrix, right? Okay, and then I could say, uh, np, okay, so what, uh, I just showed you zeros, but uh, you can also go ahead and do ones, right? So 
uh, I could say np.ones and uh, here I'll put uh, another tuple with uh, some other dimension. I can say add a 2 by 3, right? So you go 2 by 3 matrix, right? So 2 rows, 3 columns. Okay. Uh, then uh, the next function is uh, lin space. So this basically provides uh, evenly spaced numbers. So I can say from 0 to 10, and it's going to have 50 numbers in between. So what this does is it creates an array between for values from between 0 to 10. Uh, and it's going to have 50 of those values that are evenly spaced out. So OK, that's a bit difficult to see. But um, what I can do is I can say um, for, I'll just say x in that, I can go ahead and just print x, right? Uh, OK, there we go. Now it's easier to see. So you can see it starts at 0. And then it keeps on going down uh, to 10, right? And each of these numbers are evenly spaced out. Uh, and there's 50 of them, right? So, OK. Uh, also, so, OK, let's just say we go back to our fancy array, right? Uh, fancy list, sorry. Uh, so fancy list, right? Um, so you see, we have all these values, right? So think about it. if you had a regular list, right? And let's just say I wanted to add a number to all of these elements, right? So let's just say I want to add five to all of these elements. You would probably have to do a loop, traverse through everything, and then uh, and then you could uh, go ahead and add a value to each of them, right? So that would be typically how you do with the regular uh, Python list. But here, what you can do is you can just say array plus uh, fancy list plus five. And it'll actually go ahead and um, add these together for you. So you can see that uh, 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 plus 5 is 7, and so on, right? Uh, you can also uh, go ahead and just, uh, you can also go ahead and multiply. So like if I wanted to multiply by 2, right? So you can see that all of these are multiplied by 2. So you can apply these kinds of operations. I could divide it by 3 or something like that. Um, OK. So that's. Um, you can apply those, and then you can also go ahead and um, multiply them together, right? So fancy list, not fancy list. So uh, I have my fancy list, and I'll multiply it by, let's just say, np.ones, and it'll be for, uh, size 3 by 3, right? So I'll put in a tuple of 3 by 3. Uh, you can see that it actually keeps it the same, but it does have these decimal points. The reason for that is np.ones uh, creates floats, right? The uh, data type is floats, and you're multiplying by these integers, and it's going to multiply one to each of them, right? It's not matrix multiplication. Uh, this is just multiplying each of the elements together uh, individually. Um, so uh, integer one times a float one creates a float uh, number. So uh, you can see that it is like this. If I did uh, zeros instead here, uh, it would just turn all of them into zero, right? Um, I could also just I could also try and square fancy list right fancy uh, list right here and you can see that it creates a square of all these values. Uh, so I wonder if I can apply the exponent function. Let's see. Yeah, you can do that as well. So yeah, you can also apply exponents that way. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna get into um, uh, random right. So. Uh, uh, again, if you want to actually, if you want to play around with this on your own, you can go ahead and uh, run the dir, and you can see all of the different functions that there are. And there's there's tons of functions, uh, and also there's like uh, this is just like uh, so like there's another class, right? So we're about to see that right now. Uh, we're about to use a random class, right? So that's within the uh, the uh, NumPy module. So I'll see, I'll show you so numpy.random, right, uh, dot, so this is a class, right, so this is a module and this is a class, meaning that it has a bunch of other functions and uh, attributes inside of there, right, and you can run dot rand and then uh, two, right, so this will just generate two random numbers and put them in a, uh, put them in a, uh, in a list, sorry. So uh, then I can also supply multiple arguments that will give you the dimensions, right? So uh, you can see this is a five by five list of, um, sorry, five by five array of um, 
of, of uh, random integers, right? Uh, and they're all between um, 0 and 1. Uh, and it's 0 inclusive, 1 exclusive. So it goes from 0 to 0 0.99999 and so on. OK. Um, so next we have np.random.randn. OK. Uh, so I could also go ahead and do this one. So what this th does is it. Um, has so it's standard normal distribution. So the array has a mean of zero. So if you take the the average of these values, it'll be zero. And the standard deviation is always one. So if you take the standard deviation is one again, you can go ahead and um, you know do multiple values. And again, same properties apply here. So mean of uh, zero, standard deviation of one. Okay. Then you can do uh, numpy dot uh, random or rand int uh, from 1 to 100, right? So this will just generate um, random numbers just like the random class. Uh, sorry, random, the rand int from rand, the random class. So I guess if you're using numpy, then you don't have to import random separately if you're using this, this function right here. Um, and then again, here you can also apply a step, so like, uh, sorry, not the step, sorry, the length here. So this will generate an actual uh, array full of the num random integers from 1 to 100, right? So I could supply uh, 50 here, and I'll generate 50 random numbers. Okay. So next. Uh, we'll do sorry, one second. Okay, so there was a um, bit of a technical error so um, uh, we're gonna try and I'm oh, sorry one second so there was a technical uh, difficulty where uh, we weren't able to get all the files um, uploaded so uh, we're gonna continue this. Uh, we're gonna continue on NumPy uh, more uh, next week and probably week after that as well. Um, and then we're gonna move into um, into Matplotlib or Pandas. Um, so we're gonna uh, actually we're gonna do Pandas first. Um, so we're gonna cover those uh, in another uh, week or two. So uh, we're going to have to end this meeting right here because we don't have uh, the rest of the files, but uh, we'll finish that next time. OK, thank you. Bye. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys were able to hear that, but he said that um, the Files that we used in this meeting are still available, but the the uh, ones for the next meeting will be uploaded by the time that we get to that, that uh, next week. So, okay, that's all. Okay, well, uh, have a nice have a nice weekend. Okay, bye.